Update 1.21 and everything you need to know. Battle Pass Season 11 was launched with new camos and crew members as always, but this time with Fosh P, Type 5 and D57 Heavy as special tanks with special 3D styles. Also, experimental equipment added to the base rewards, some gold prices in the improved pass and revised bonds, well, you get less of those. There will also be a fourth chapter for a premium tank, basically like a marathon we had for the SHPTK TVP 100 one year ago, hopefully for free again, not like the 832 marathon. The collection feature this time starts working right from the get-go. They updated service record featuring new groups, adding bronze, silver, gold, ace and legend as groups based on your WTR, World of Tanks rating, which counts your damage done, assisted damage, destroyed tanks, blocked damage and survival rate. You can also customize your front screen showcasing medals or achievements you want to show in your front screen, like how many bombardier medals you have received. I got mine in Foch 155 with old AG, by the way. They also reset the assistance and max damage records, so if you see zero over there, that's the reason. Frontline is coming back with a brand new map called Feta Morgana with a desert landscape, improved Grathurk map and other several balance improvements. Also, we get Steel Hunter Reborn game mode, which is like the old Steel Hunter, with couple key changes like a respawn mechanic, which allows you to respawn in the first 5 minutes if you get destroyed, AI driven opponents called Marauders for extra loot if you can find them, and couple other changes like the tank tier balance and no rental tanks anymore, you can play with whatever you want. Also, Kampfpanzer 07PE, tier 10 German heavy tank, and the Gsor 1010 FP has been added for testing by Super Des players, so be ready to spot them on the battlefield. And as always, many known issues and many fixed issues and improvements. This is update 1.21.